But what is the real estate market back? Are things back to normal? Hi, I'm Tony. I hope you guys are well. I, uh, let me just share with you one thing. I do believe the real estate market is somewhat back to the way it was prior to the, the coronavirus really taking a toll on our economy. Um, can, the, the biggest things that we noticed before the coronavirus was that consumer confidence was very, very high. Uh, people certainly believed in real estate. Sellers were enjoying a fruitful market. It was very much a seller's market. And those two things are in place again. It is very much a seller's market right now out there. Properties are going for above the asking price. Properties are getting multiple showings. Um, you know, consumer confidence is back. And I think a lot of that had to do with Ontario reopening last week, which we kind of expected. When the roads get busy and the plazas get busy and, you know, we're stuck in traffic again and, you know, kind of life goes back to normal to some extent, then at that point, consumer confidence does return. And then at that point, people do have um, confidence reinvesting into the real estate market or putting their home on the market. A lot of people right now who do own their home and they're planning on putting it on the market, they are asking us, you know, how the market is. And we are sharing this same message that the market is strong, that the buyers still recognize real estate as being a safe investment. And of course, our region, Waterloo Region, Wellington County is still one of the most in-demand sectors or in-demand regions across the country. Our prices haven't dropped. Our prices have continued to hold and continue to go up. So it still continues to be a safe investment. People from Toronto are selling their 800, 900, $1 million property, and they're buying something in our region for 600, 700,000, and they're pocketing the difference. And the one big thing that people are asking for is a home office. So now people have learned that they can work from home. So you can sell for a million, you can buy here for 700,000, that $300,000, it basically comes back to you and you're still getting the same size home as what you would in the GTA. Now, you know, you're, you've learned you can work from home. So that is certainly one of the big in-demand things that people are asking for. The other thing is swimming pools because there has been talk about these um, stay-at-home orders, these self-isolation measures being repeated multiple times over the next couple of years until we figure out a vaccine. And so people now when they're at home, they're bored. Now all of a sudden they want a swimming pool. So that has certainly encouraged buyers um, getting into the market looking for a swimming pool. Banks are still strong, they're still lending money, they're not being um, overly adventurous with their lending, they're still uh, incorporating a lot of caution into their lending. So, I mean, our, vital, our, vitals, our um, vital signs are strong, the real estate market is strong, the banks seem to be financing, consumer confidence is high, and Ontario is looking at, looking at getting back to, to reopening and back to business. Of course, open houses are still not allowed and still enormous precautions are still taken when we're uh, listing properties and showing buyers through properties. I hope that helps. Uh, if there's anything I can ever help you with, if you have a question, please reach out. I'm always here to help. See you guys.